bring uh, the best out of their game when they play the Leafs? What's the key to kind of uh, having good showing against them? Um, yeah, you know, they're, um, you know, they can put the puck in the back of the net for sure. And um, it's our job to slow them down and have a good start here and spend a lot of time in their end. And uh, yeah, that's the game plan. Could be some adjustments on defense. Uh, what's the key to kind of keeping that consistent when someone new maybe coming into the lineup that hasn't played in a little while? Well, communication, short shifts, get everyone involved early. And um, yeah, we're all professionals, so we've been in situations like this before. So just a lot of talk and uh, they'll be fine. How are you feeling after that uh, hit from Marchment in Good. the last game? Was, uh, were you satisfied with the way that was kind of handled and everything? Um, sure. Um, you know, a lot of your teammates said that you, you handled it really well in that situation where you were able to kind of keep your composure in that situation, not take a bad penalty or anything like that. Yeah. Like, well, what's the key to kind of just keeping your cool in the situation? Use your head as much as you can and. Uh... I mean, we were on the penalty kill, so I couldn't afford to take another penalty. Do you see it as an advantage coming in, having a couple games under your belt, playing a team who's just come off a bye week and hasn't played a game? Yeah, certainly. I think we need to take that take that advantage, like you said, and um, you know, come out fast and try to play in their end and, and stress them defensively for sure. When you looked at this Ottawa Senators roster, would you have expected them to be in this position at this point in the season? I don't speculate amongst the other teams of the league. I'd worry about what we have in, in our group, and there's enough to, to worry about in, in house and other teams. The talk kind of about a playoff mentality starting to grow coming out of the break for you guys. Like, what does that look like for, for a player? Because there's still, I mean, a lot of games left before you get there. So, how do you approach each game? The right I, way? I personally just approach every night one game at a time. Um, this league's tough to win in every night, so just try to collect the points when you can and keep moving on. How many stitches did you get? I'm not sure. William, you've been waiting a little while here. What's it been like uh, just kind of going through the waiting process and keeping yourself ready for game action? Yeah, I mean, it's been uh, it's been a little grind, you know, like uh, staying ready all the time and uh, keep patient, but uh, uh, finally I'm back in, so I'm uh, super excited about it. How do you kind of keep things simple going into a situation like this where you haven't played a while, but you know, with a different defensive partner and I guess everything else that comes with that? Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm just going to, play my game, play like I did uh, before, a uh, lot of energy, uh, bring that to the team and hard close gaps and all that, so uh, I'm, I'm going to keep keep sticking with that and, and do my job out there. What's been the vibe uh, from watching it from a distance, just, you know, you're in the room, but also just kind of watching the games, there's been a lot of up and downs, what, where do you feel the team is at right now? Uh, yeah, like I said, I mean, I'm just trying to, to be a good teammate, bring the energy in practice and all that, be a good uh, teammate for everyone and uh, bring some positive energy. Uh, that's all I can uh, could have done, I, I think. So uh, that's that's what I did. And uh, and uh, but it feels really good to be to be back in the lineup and uh, go out there in games and uh, and fight for wins. This organization certainly has a spare expense when it comes to you know development staff and resources like that. Like, how did you make the most of your your time between games? Yeah, I mean, uh, like you said, they have uh, a lot of uh, development skilled guys, so, so it's been uh, uh, it's been easy to working with them and work on my game and uh, uh, keep ready. So uh, uh, yeah. What did you take from your time? Like your last game, I think was at the end of December. What do you remember from what you were doing well at that time? Uh, I mean, like I said before, just to bring bring a lot of energy. Uh, I think I had a fight that game too, so. Uh, play physical uh, uh, and all that. So uh, yeah, that's what I remembered. Are there any messages from the coaches, Sheldon, ahead of this game, and what they want from you? Uh, no, it's just been like uh, stay, stay ready, and, and uh, keep keep patient. And uh, uh, that let me know yesterday that I was uh, back in today. So uh, uh, nothing, nothing really more than that. How fresh do you feel? Uh, really fresh. Yeah. What uh, stands out about the Senators? I think last game was against these guys, right? Like with your last game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What stands out about them from what you remember? I think coaches always said that the, that team always tends to bring they bring their best when it comes to taking on the Leafs. So I don't know what you can remember from that game. Uh, no, I remember they have they always they have a good uh, offensive for sure. Uh, they give up a lot too, so it's been uh, they kind of kind of team that. Uh, Gives up a lot and, and uh, creates a lot too, so uh, got to be ready for that for sure. And uh, and uh, yeah, it's the Ottawa Senators tonight. Uh, key is just for us to play well within our own game and build off the good things we did the other night to beat a very good Dallas team. Um, 
It's Ottawa team stresses you, you know, with the, the offense that they can generate through their lineup and through their defense. So we've got to defend real hard and, and uh, you know, play on their half of the ice. So really it's just about our game coming together. What's uh, sort of what was now the reason or now a good time to go with Martin Jones in goal? Well, he's, Jones, he's played really, really well for us. So, you know, we need to keep him involved and keep him going. And at the same time, it, it gives uh, Samson off a couple of practice days here. He, he and Jones both skated yesterday after not skating in the outdoor uh, day. They, they skated yesterday, got a good good work day with Curtis and another one here today for Sammy. And, and uh, you know, Jones will go. So he's, like I said, he's, he's, uh, he's done a really good job for us and got us through a, a tough period of time. Um, and at you least know, he needs to remain part of things here now, especially as we're, you know, we're uh, still, still waiting Joe Wall to come back. Uh, you know, maybe use two guys. It's been a while since William Logson's been in the lineup. What are you hoping from him tonight? Yeah, just to do the job that he did when he came in previously. You know, it's obviously when you haven't played for a while, you, you need to simplify things even more. But he plays a pretty simple game as it is. So just defend hard and move the puck up the ice. And you know, he's worked very hard and he's been very patient. And uh, there's some confidence there uh, in him and, uh, because of how he's played. He got us through uh, much like Jones. You're talking about with the injuries and goal. Uh, like I said, when we had injuries on defense, did a really nice job for us. So uh, he should feel good about that and just get in and have a clear mind and let, let it fly. What's the latest on Giordano and Timmons? Gio's, uh, he's got a lower body body injury. It'll be day to day, uh, maybe a little bit longer than day to day, but nothing nothing too serious. And and then it's just an illness for Timmons that's hit him pretty hard. So, you know, in terms of the time period, you don't know, but wasn't available to travel on the trip with us here today. Majoriano, was it something that occurred in the last game or something? Yeah, it was, yeah. The growth of the Benoit McCabe pairing, what, uh, what were your thoughts on that? Uh, just two competitors, you know. Um, Benoit, no matter who he's played with us, has done his thing, you know, which is to defend hard, be in your face. Uh, not a lot of... Uh, a lot of bad things have happened when Benoit's been on the ice. He's cleaned up a lot of things for us. And then McCabe, you know, you know McCabe's got the the competitiveness as well and the physicality, but also he's got the speed to carry the puck up the ice and, and to, to help the group a little bit more offensively. And, and Benoit's, uh, like I said, been there to kind of to support support that well. So, yeah, it's worked well, but I think a lot of it is just rooted in the, the competitiveness and physicality that they both bring. You may you mentioned that the Ottawa Senators stress you offensively. Um, what kind of an advantage do you guys think you have, given that you've had a couple of games and that they have not played since they've had this bye, bye week from the All-Star game? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it, it, there's always debate, right? Rest and rust and all those kind of things. Uh, we went through it uh, coming out of the break ourselves, but we played an, an opponent that was also coming off of, uh, off of their break. Uh, you know, it remains to be seen, but one thing that we do know is anytime we come in here, anytime we play Ottawa, we get their best game, and I would expect nothing different. We saw a few shifts, Max, with Austin the other night. Uh, was that just because you were coming out of penalty kills or something you want to see? Want to see any more of? Uh, yeah, it's something I've been wanting to see for a while. Uh, it's also a way just to sort of manage uh, Nye's minutes uh, at different times when you know, sometimes Nye's minutes end up being a little bit lower, but also sometimes because of the Matthews line and, and the demand that's on them with the matchups and sometimes the flow of play, there's not as much recovery time. Uh, so trying to reduce that for Nye's a little bit and give others some opportunity to go in there. And Domi's a guy trying to get more minutes for and also give him a chance to, to play with those guys up there, yeah. When you sign I imagine that at the time you're maybe not thinking potential top four guys. Suppose you never know. Like when did kind of the eyes start to open a little more? We thought, okay, this guy maybe uh, take on could take on a bigger. Well, just yeah, just we liked a lot of things about him. Tree really liked a lot of the elements that he showed in Anaheim and, and, and even in the minors. You know, size, length, physicality. He, he can cover ground too. Like he, he's. Uh, He's, he's got some speed to be able to get to spots and, and use his physicality or to clean up plays. So you like those elements, you know, and then what does it look like, you know, within our own, our own organization. And, you know, he didn't get off to a great start. It's, you know, he dealt with some injuries in, tr in training camp and, um, 
had to go through waivers to the minors and all that. Uh, but he handled it like unbelievable, un unbelievably well. His time, you know, through that time, and then also with the Marlies, you know, the reports there, he handled it tremendously. And, and then an opportunity comes, right? We just talked about it a bit with Lagason. You know, we had a lot of injuries on defense, and we needed guys to step up. And you know, he's he has played a lot in the league, and uh, I think he's got a lot of confidence in himself that's rooted in his competitive nature, but also. Uh, he works extremely hard at his game and, and with, at his, on his body off the ice. Um, and then when he played at a time when we, we had no other choice but to play him, um, he just did well. And like I said, the, really from the beginning, very little has gone poorly when he's out there. Um, you know, he's always working at his game offensively to try to help us a little bit more in that area. But with while doing that, he's never forgotten who he is and what he needs to do in terms of the defensive and the uh, competitive uh, aspects that he brings. So he's been a tremendous ad for us and, and obviously um, has helped us a great deal through not just a difficult period with the injuries, but even now as he's continued to grow.